one could say the previous residents of this country barn were of a lower class or even lowing. But while once this coast was a bovine shelter, it has now become a romantic rural boat hole for weekends away for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The couple, who have just returned from their honeymoon in Canada, are leasing the Cotswolds barn, now converted from its tumble-down appearance above, from a landowning friend of former Prime Minister David Cameron. The isolated house, which the Daily Mail has chosen not to identify, is on the vast Great Two estate. It is only a stone's thrown from trendy private members' retreat Soho farmhouse, which is visited by many of Meghan's UK-based friends. Fifteen years ago the coast was one of a set of decaying farm buildings used for cattle. Now, however, the 18th century buildings have been transformed into a stunning country residence. Inside, there is a split-level kitchen and sitting area. Next door is the dining room in what used to be stables, and a large barn has been made into a drawing room. The master bedroom is on the barn's top floor and comes with an ensuite bathroom and dressing room and a view of the valley below. The 4,000-acre Oxfordshire estate lies northeast of Chipping Norton and is at the heart of an area described as Poshfordshire thanks to its well-to-do visitors. The estate has a rich history, it was established on a Roman farm and after the Norman conquest was given by William I to his half-brother Otu, Bishop of Bayeux. It is now owned by multi-millionaire old Etonian Nicholas Johnston, who has been carrying out the luxury refurbishments of derelict farmhouses on his land. Although he has won praise for reviving the estate, some have complained he has ignored local opinion. He recently sought permission for a pounds 30 million world-class car museum and demonstration track alongside 28 holiday lodges. Furious locals made 260 formal objections, as developers usually spend such money on parks and other public goods. One resident of neighboring Little Two, Star Trek actor Sir Patrick Stewart, said the plan was elitist. Fortunately for Harry, 33, and Meghan, 36, such concerns are unlikely to affect their own pocket of rural bliss. The estate, according to its website, has spring lambs playing in rolling grassland and oak woods with a carpet of blue bells. Fields near to the couple's home are used for winter grouse shoots, and the property was this week surrounded by a blaze of wildflowers. Birds of prey could be seen hovering overhead as well as hares dashing through the meadows, alongside the occasional muntjac deer. A brisk walk brings them to a 16th century thatched pub, whose visitors include the Beckhams, Rowan Atkinson, and Harry Enfield. Harry and Meghan will use the boat hole for breaks from Nottingham Cottage, their official London residence in the grounds of Kensington Palace. Rumor has it they will soon be moving into a grander apartment in the grounds after extensive renovations.